the first building that you remember as a schoolhouse, what did it look like? Was it a, just a... Uh, it was a... It was made out of lumber. Uh, yeah, it wasn't a log, I don't think. Frame, wood frame, frame mm -hmm. play. What, what, how many rooms was it? Just one just big room. One big room? Yes. And there were about 80, uh, some, sometimes there was about 80 children in that, and with one teacher. Wow. And she had the whole... Um, from first to eighth grade in there. And you all were all in the same all classroom. In the same, same room. What did she do? Did she have some lessons for the older ones and other lessons she for She had she took each grade uh -huh. separate uh -huh. each class. Uh -huh. And and what did she make the, the older ones work while she was teaching? Yes, the they, they had homework to do while, or uh -huh. work or to do while she was teaching the others. What she took one class and the others were doing some other work. Do you remember who that teacher was? Oh, yes. Allie. It's Allie Booyer. Allie Booyer? Yeah, L-I-E. Uh -huh. Did she speak English or French? She, she spoke English. I think her mother might have been French, though. Uh-huh. Was she from here or was she from... Well, um, they lived here at that time. I think she was over, from over towards Cannon Mines or TFR, out that way. I think they were, they're, that's where their home was, where they first uh, lived, I think. Mm -hmm. But then she was living here. She and her mother were living around here whenever she thought school year at Oracle. So you, did you start when you were six or seven? Well, no, I didn't start when I was six or seven. My mother died when I was only, I wasn't quite three years old. And my dad worked in the mines. And of course my sisters, I had a, a, two older sisters and a, two brothers. And they went to school of course and I had to go with them. And uh, Miss Allie's mother would come early in the morning to take care of the children before school started. And I would go with my sisters. To school. So you actually started a lot I was, younger. I guess I mustn't have been more than four years old, maybe not that old when I went to school, I don't remember. At that time, uh, what was the principal language at, at your house? When well, we spoke French, yeah. but when we went to school, they'd rather that we spoke English because it would be half French and half English, you know. Uh -huh. You would think, so among the students, there could have been as many as 80 about half of them spoke English? I doubt if there were half of them. There were more French, I think, at that time than uh, English. Uh -huh. So that would have been about 1915 or? Probably. Sometimes around 15, that time. Mm -hmm. And there were more French speakers, I mean, among the young kids well, at school. They spoke French too, you know, because their parents did. Mm -hmm. <coughs> and, but, but you recall that there, there was some pressure? Uh, well, it wasn't exactly a pressure. Uh -huh. I think they did it for our own sake. Uh -huh. Because, you know, you couldn't uh, speak French and English both and to get, get the right English because it would have been broken. Uh -huh. both, of, both of the languages would be unbroken. Uh -huh. And uh, so as it went, then the students, I guess, gradually learned more and more English. English yes. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. And of course, all the courses well, were in English. Yeah, that's true. Yes, and we that's didn't have any French lessons in school. French lessons. No. Uh, French lessons. Yeah. Um, were there still some old timers that spoke only French? Only French. Oh yes. Yeah. And so it was just over the years then that gradually. It gradually uh, disappeared. Yes, because people didn't speak French.